to you got you got carrots hi guys so i'm just doing some soup and right i am in the kitchen in my happy place and i am making some spicy parsnip soup i absolutely love cooking this when it comes to the winter time so i'm just getting all the veg and everything ready my mum's brought me a coffee so i'm in my happy place and i just fancy doing a bit of vlogging so yeah that's about it so i'm just cutting all the veg up i've already got a load in the pan Let me put, let's put the big light on and then you can see got lots of veg in here all the onions and the celery and what else is in there there is garlic there's um fresh ginger there's all sorts so i'm just getting the rest ready the parsnips and the carrots and we've got some nice nutmeg we've got some chicken stock and we're going to put it all in the pan and make a delicious soup these little carrot sticks are for lily and alfie because they love them is this for you lily <laughs> Take it. Good girl. <laughs> she loves it. Alfie's not bothered, but Lily loves it. Oh, he's so noisy. Like a little bunny. He's so nice. <laughs> luminous on camera it's definitely not luminous i can't wait to eat it it's so good this will be like for three or so people i'm gonna freeze this one pop this one in the fridge and freeze that one as well so nice good morning everybody today is thursday let me just step out of that sunshine oh my god look how dark my eyes look oh dear I'm not feeling well. <laughs> What's new? I've actually got a bit of bronchitis, so I'm not feeling too great, but I'm okay. It's not stopping me. I'm carrying on, just going. Anyway, I'm in my office this morning and just doing a bit of work, but I just had to show you this because it's so cute. Every Christmas, I get out this little guy and always have my drinks in him. He's so cute. So today, I've got a coffee in him. So it's a nice frothy coffee. Oops, nearly dropped the camera. That's not a good way to go. And then I've got let it snow because apparently it's going to snow here on sunday which i'm quite excited about but i'm meant to be taking the dogs for their groom on sunday and the place where we go is it's not really out in the sticks but the roads aren't so great to get to it if it's snowy but we'll see what happens anyway i'm not going to worry yet and then i've got my lovely plant it's actually pretty glittery oh yeah you can tell there it's so pretty so i got that from tesco that was two pounds but i need to put it in a proper pot but it's just on a saucer at the minute which is okay and then we've got my little reindeer that my lovely client brought for me and it had little chocolate um red noses inside and you said uh, chocolate balls but red noses sound uh, much more appealing so yeah that was very nice and then i've got my tree this is just my little office tree I put it up every single year because it just makes everything festive and then I've got a few presents under here. The one in the big sack there is for Lily and Alfie. I've got them two new dog beds and it fits in that sack because they're so tiny. <laughs> and then they've got some little treats down there from Lily's kitchen which came with that little cute bag and that's one for dad but I just can't fit it under the big Christmas tree. I'm quite lucky to have a bigger space up there which can fit the tree quite nicely and I've got a little lily she's so beautiful aren't you darling she's so beautiful she says no I'm camera shy no photos today no photos lily good girl and here is the best part of the morning which is my advent calendar so let's see what we've got today what date is it I think it's the seventh let's have a look and do, do, do. There. I'm always really careful when I'm opening my advent calendar because I don't like to tear it 
I saw my mum opening hers the other day and she's savage, absolutely savage. There we go. It's a little ball. Oops, I've got stuff stuck on my hand. Oh, so nice. I love these. These are the Lindor sort of like little chocolate truffles. In fact, what like a class have. Lindor mini truffles. Milk chocolate truffles with a smooth melting filling. Oh my God. So I like to have this with my coffee on a morning, which my mum and dad just don't understand. They're like, what? You've already eaten your chocolate today. They have theirs at like nine o'clock on a night while they're watching TV. I'm like, well, yeah, it's the best part of the day. Why would you want to wait all day to have your chocolate? No, thank you. I need it in the morning. Now that I'm all ready for the day, I thought I would give you an update on Lily. So if you watched one of my other vlogs, I think it was the one that was called the chattiest vlog ever or something, and it's like a, a Christmassy picture as a thumbnail in Leeds. Um, I told you that Lily hadn't been very well and that her legs were pretty bad. I'll link the video in the description bar if you want to take a look because this video will make more sense. It's a little bit long, but it explains everything so you'll know exactly what's going on. Um, but basically, Lily's got really bad legs. She has luxating patella on both of her back legs and she had ruptured a cruciate ligament on one of her legs, which she's got an implant for. So not so long ago, she started screaming in pain after getting excited at some family members that came round. She was so excited to see people. She loves people. She loves it when we get visitors and she just got so giddy and was running around and ended up really hurting her leg and we sort of got really worried that it was the luxating, not luxating patella, that it was the cruciate ligament. So we took her to the vets and the vet said it may well be the cruciate ligament and it seemed to be clicking a lot and he said that that rarely gets better if it's such a loud click as Lily's was but to keep going with her um, for a little bit longer because he didn't want to do any more surgery on her. She doesn't react very well to anaesthetic at all and she's had so, so many operations already. And she's only seven and she's pretty much had, I think it's six or seven operations. She's been put to sleep a lot of times and it's really not good for such a small dog. Anyway, we kept her at home for three weeks, as the vet said, and kept giving her an anti-inflammatory drug, which is called Previcox, because she can't take Metacam, which is a painkiller, um, but we could give her Previcox and Paracetamol, so doggy Paracetamol, which is par pad pad Pardale? Yeah, Pardale. So she was taking Pardale and Previcox. Um, my mum and dad took her to the vet not so long ago. I was away in Manchester, so they took her to see the vet, and he had a look at her legs, oh no sorry, in the meantime her other leg went as well so she was really struggling to walk around, she was kind of pulling herself along with her front legs which was just horrible to see, which is absolutely horrifying. Um, but she seemed to get a little bit better and she was walking around more, she was really good, I took her for walks and she was amazing on her walks. Anyway, they took her back to the vet and explained what had been happening. He checked her legs again and he said it could be one of many things. It's definitely not the luxating patella. Her pins and wires that she's got in her legs are all well in place. They're all great, they're okay. Um, it could be the cruciate ligament. It could be spondylosis on her spine, which just, I don't even want to think about that because it's just not good. She'd be in a lot of pain and it's just, I don't think there's a cure for it. They can just treat it, but hopefully it's not that. Um, he said it could be many, many other things, but we won't know until we do an x-ray. However, 
seen as Lily really improved on her legs and she's been walking around and she's not been limping anymore, not been crying in pain, he wants to leave her a little bit longer. So we've got another three or four weeks to leave her, keep walking her. She's not on medication anymore, just keeping her active but gentle exercise. So she does about 10, 20 minutes a day, just really slow walking on the flat and it seems to be helping her. I think she's improving a little bit, which is good. The clicking in her leg has almost completely gone, which he said is a good sign, but the cruciate tear that she definitely does have has still not healed. So at the moment, we're kind of still in limbo with her. Things haven't really changed. She's still crazy. She's sat on the floor here with Alfie at the side of me. She's still absolutely crazy. She still runs around the house chasing Alfie. She still torments him all the time. And she's still always playing, which I think is a good sign. I don't think she's in pain, which is the most important thing. So yeah, I don't really have any update for you other than we are still waiting to find out what happens. And I just wanted to say as well, thank you so, so much for all the lovely comments on the last vlog and all the love to me and Lily. It was so kind and I just sat and cried reading everything. You know how I feel about my dogs, they are my babies. And anything to do with them being unwell or anything just makes me cry. In fact, it made me cry the other day because there was an advert on TV and it was um, two dancing polar bears. I think it was the Dancing on Ice advert and I picked Alfie up to show him the polar bears because he loves things like that. Anything that's cartoony, he'll watch on TV. So I picked him up to show him and he's sort of watching the TV really intense and his little tail was wagging so quick and it was so cute that I just burst into tears. So I was like, he's just so sweet. He's just like, he's a baby. He's my baby. And Lily is too. Two little babies. So yeah, no update at the minute. So now I'm just going to tidy away a little bit. I've been watching some YouTube while I'm getting ready. I've been watching Claire Chanel. Um, I am, is it, I think you pronounce it Chuquette or Chu, yeah, Chu, I am Chuquette. And I've been watching Zoella as well. I really like her um, Vlogmas vlogs. So now I've done that, I'm going to warm my coffee up because it's gone cold because I forgot to drink it while I was getting ready and then I've got to do some work on my laptop and do some blogging. So it's not an exciting day by any account but yeah, these things have got to be done. So let's get on with it. These two are never far away. Hello, you are so cute. Look at your little beautiful faces. I love you. I love you. You go back to sleep then. This is our little Christmassy garland on the fireplace. I always do the Christmas decorations every year because I just get too giddy and do them really early. And these are the cutest. They are little stocking holders and I got them from Debenhams absolute years ago but last year or the year before I actually dropped one by accident. It came off the fireplace while I was altering the garland. Like an idiot I didn't take it off first and it fell off and the tree broke and we couldn't fix it because it basically hit the marble down there and we had to throw it away and luckily I managed to find one that was still in stock in a Debenhams that was like a year old so I was so happy that I managed to get another but instead of putting stockings on I've put these little love hearts on which I think were from oh, where were they from somewhere like the range or Dunelm I think but I think they're really cute I love them see this little one's never far away she just follows me and this one's following too and this is the family tree, which I absolutely love. There's the angel on top. I really want a star on top or a bow, but my mum insists on having the angel. But maybe next year we'll have a change. We always have him on this little Father Christmas. I used to have him when I was little, so we always put him on every year. We don't really have like a very uniformed tree we just have lots of different decorations that have got like little memories attached to them when i was little i always used to pick a new ornament for the tree so it's kind of jumbled we've got lots of different things this one is um a bauble from italy from bellagio and mum and dad went to photograph a wedding so that was really nice but yeah they've all got meanings this one's a really little special one she's been on the tree ever since i can remember there's a Verena bauble, which is so pretty. And <laughs> this is one that I picked in Little Woods when I was so small. I really liked that one because it had a squirrel on it. <laughs> 
standard, always picking the one with animals. And then we have a few little presents underneath. This one is something special for my mum. Look at this one. He's so interested in the presents this year. They're so good, they've got presents under the tree as well. And they never touch them, they come and have a little sniff and have a look around. Look at his tail, he's so excited. But they never touch anything or never try and eat anything, they're so good. They just have a little nosy and then they end up walking off. But yeah, that's a special one for my mum this year that Alfie's uh, having a good look at. And if you know, you know, you'll recognise that packaging. Hello. <laughs> what are you doing? You want to get in on the shop? Oh, are you coming for a look now as well? Look, you can see that she's walking a lot better. She's not limping anymore. Yeah, you're doing so much better, aren't you? Yeah, she's still plodding a little bit. That is such an improvement. She can't sit and beg anymore like she used to do. Well, not very often anyway, she struggles. Can you see how she sits sideways? So her legs are like both at this side, tucked underneath. She doesn't sit straight. And this one just can't get close enough. <laughs> He's so cute. Do you want to show everybody what you can do? Can you go back a little bit? Go back a little bit, listen, sit. Sit. Good boy, pa. Good boy. Well done, Lily. Down. Good girl. Roll. Oh, Nearly. <laughs> nearly. You're getting jealous because Lily's getting attention. Lily. Down. Down. Roll over. <laughs> you can roll over, you little torment. Is it because they don't have a treat? <gasps> oh. If you do your roll, I'll get you one. Sit down, Alfie. <laughs> down. Roll. <laughs> Lily, down. Roll up. <laughs> you're so cute. You are so cute. Alfie's shaking because he's so excited to get a treat. <gasps> Shall we go and get a treat? What would you like? A chicken treat? Would you like a chicken treat? Come on then, let's go get one. Alfie's favourite. You can have that one. He's waiting to see if there's anything better. And these are Lily's favourite. She likes the little puppy ones. Look how looks. She's so cute. Here you go. Here you go. How cute is this? <laughs> We've literally got radiators just full of Lily and Alfie's clothes. So cute. Now it's just about two o'clock and I've made a hot chocolate. One of my favourite Starbucks mugs. And I'm just going to recheck emails again and do some admin when this decides to work. It does this quite a lot actually. I just flip it over to put it to sleep. And then when I try to switch it on, it won't come on. I'm so out of breath because I feel like I can't breathe. I feel all stuffed up. Literally, all I've done is walk from the kitchen with my drink and sat down. But yeah, I really like sitting here when it's wintry. It's just so pretty. And this little one is fast asleep by the Christmas tree. Aren't you? He couldn't understand why his toys were on the radiator earlier and he just sat looking at them all like, Oh, why have you done this? He's so cute. Gets in the tiniest little ball. He's so lovely. I just went to the studio to make a nice Christmassy coffee. This is one of my favourite cups. We've had it for absolute years, but I love it. So I was making a coffee and Mr. Postman came and he brought my glossy box, which I'm expecting. Look how nice that is. I love that box. So I'm going to actually unbox it on camera. I'm so excited to open it. I just want to see what's inside. But I've held off, which is unusual for me. But another delivery also came, which I wasn't expecting. And oh my God, I was so excited because it said Charlotte Tilbury. So I opened it up and it's a little present from Charlotte. So I am a pro member at Charlotte Tilbury because obviously I'm a professional makeup artist. So they sent this gorgeous card 
which basically says thank you for being a loyal customer and it's so so nice and they sent two little goodies so they sent a wonder glow which i really really like i love wonder glow so much so so pretty and they also sent a pot of charlotte's magic cream which is so nice my mum absolutely loves this so i'm going to give her the magic cream and i will use the wonder glow so that is so nice i was so excited and i mean just look at the gorgeous packaging as well this is what the little goodies came in they're just packaged so nicely i love charlotte tilbury as a brand they're just ugh, luxury so luxurious love it absolutely beautiful thank you so much charlotte tilbury i really appreciate that what a morning this has been i've been rushing around to get this video filmed before my auntie comes and the first time i filmed it it took ages filming it because i was unboxing it at the same time and tried to get the packaging off and things went to the back of the camera to like turn it off after filming and realized that everything was blurry my background was in perfect focus but not me <laughs> none of the products so i had to refilm it and now i'm trying to download it onto my mac so i can edit it and it keeps telling me that there's an error and it's corrupted so i don't even know if i can use those files i'm trying to download them one by one and so far it's still downloading them which before it, it stopped after like a minute or so and it's been going for about 20 minutes now so oh God, fingers crossed fingers crossed it works this time because i just don't have time to film it again and i like to get my boxes up pretty soon after they arrive if i'm at home and it arrives i'll stop what i'm doing and film it because i like to get it up um <laughs> sounds wrong <laughs> so hopefully this will be okay it'll download and then i can edit it this evening and get it uploaded this evening but we'll see <sighs> so i'm just waiting for my auntie now please work please work <sighs> come on please work my auntie's just left and i've come into my office to do some editing and look what's on my tree a little card well a big card oh, it's so nice to our beautiful loving caring rachie wishing you the most magical sparkly christmas saw this card and thought of you you're such a special daughter there's no one quite like you you bring so much happiness in what you say and do so have a perfect christmas filled with laughter and love and all wonderful things you've been dreaming of happy christmas to a wonderful daughter love you to the moon and back lots of love mum and dad that is beautiful that is so nice i had to stop myself crying then reading that <laughs> how beautiful that is i love it thank you mum and dad time for a christmasy hot chocolate while i'm editing can't wait to drink this <gasps> looks so good so i've been busy editing and um going through this glossy box video and one of the products that came in the glossy box is an eyeliner uh where is it there it is where is it there so yeah, there's a new eyeliner and as I was editing it, I got a little bit distracted and thought oh I think I'm going to have a play with the eyeliner so look what happened <laughs> Morning! So today is Saturday and I'm just getting ready um, for some clients to arrive who I'm doing makeovers on so I'm just sat at my desk at the minute I've just edited uh, this vlog so I'm just filming the ending to the vlog <laughs> So because I'm doing, oh I'm a bit sniffly, so because I'm doing mostly client work today I can't really film that because a lot of my clients just don't want to be on YouTube, they want to have their makeovers in peace and in private. So I'm working mostly on clients today so I don't really have that much to vlog. So I'm going to end the vlog here and I will be vlogging again starting from tomorrow so there'll be like another week's worth of footage. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog even though not that much has gone off but I hope that you enjoyed it anyway. If you did please give it a big thumbs up and also please subscribe if you are new and I will see you soon in another vlog. Bye!